Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you today with a decorating video. In this video, you will see me decorate my living room, um, decorate my Christmas tree, and just spruce up a little bit. Now, in this video, the only thing that I purchased are two pillows, which you see on the round chair, and they were $10 a piece. Everything else I already had, I used Christmas ornaments from last year and some that i had that i did not use so and then a few things i may have spray painted so i'm going to be cleaning up adding lights and under my christmas tree i have a white um skirt but you're going to see further along in the video i am going to use curtains my curtains that i had in my hall bathroom which i am in the process of um, redecorating that I chose those curtains I took them down cleaned them and everything and put one panel underneath the tree and then I had another sheer blue curtain that I will add um, to kind of give it a decorative touch under the tree now um, you will see I'm gonna hang up over um, the doorway going into what we call the man cave the other set of panels um, I picked up some lights that I had that never got a chance to use. And that's what I'm wrapping around the Christmas tree. Now, this bucket is all of the ornaments that I have left. Most of my Christmas decorations were ruined. Um, we put them in storage bins and put them outside. Not knowing that water was going to seep through uh, because of the type of buckets that I purchased. I thought I was getting some that was going to seal properly, but it did not. And so my tree is several years old and in the middle, some of my lights are doing its own thing. So I'm not quite sure how to fix that. But um, after the holidays, I'm going to sit down and change out the fuses because I don't know what I'm doing. And I paid $700 for this tree. I'm not bothering it right now. So if the middle lights are irritating you guys, y'all, I'm hey, I apologize. But your girl is not getting ready to buy another tree right about now, okay? And um, G is going to help me put some hooks on these ornaments. We're also going to hang a garland up over the fireplace. And it took some doing, but it all came together in the end. And I hope you guys like it. Let me know down below, once you finish this entire video, what your thoughts are. Um, and let me know what colors you're choosing. I didn't really know what colors I was going to choose until I started pulling out my ornaments and then I just went with it from there just thought about what I already had and started to incorporate some of those items if I had to take it from another room and add them to this space that's what I did and so shopping your home at first is a good idea if you really don't have the budget to start from scratch and I know I don't and I'm pleased with it. And y'all know these colors are my colors year round. And um, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right. So I'll see y'all further along in the video.
extra piece of garland that I am going to DIY. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do, but I know that I had been out shopping and looking around and I look at the prices of garland, y'all. It is ridiculous, okay? And I know good and well, I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> And I just, I just was like, no, your girl is getting not, I'm not getting ready to pay $49.95 for a piece of garland with some hot glue lights or bulbs on it. Okay. No, I paid $5 for this garland a few years ago. And I'm just going to use some of my extra Christmas ornaments that I have left. Uh, I'm not going to use all of these in this container in my house. Um, I do have the ones in the clear plastic inside the container. I am going to add some of those black ones on my tree in my she room. So if you continue to watch, you will see this is a process. I had it a little crooked, but hey, hey, <laughs> that's what I got. Uh, it didn't, it turned out the way that I wanted it to. It just was off a little bit. And me, I call myself and I use the Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks and when i tell you that stuff is not movable i could not separate the ornaments from the garland at that point if i'd have used a real cheap one it might have worked but i couldn't so i had to make do and switch a few things around and kind of you know make it work um i don't know what you guys are using um as far as <clears throat> how you hang up your your decorations but i found some command hooks and um i've been using some of those i also use them over my in my little office space to hang up like some of the garments when i am live and so i've been using those little hooks and i put them on the fireplace and um, it worked i was so glad because i did not want to go and have to purchase more command hooks because baby tape these days is not tape it don't work the way that it used to and so you see me here putting this thing together. Wasn't quite sure what I was going to do, but I just kept playing with it. And, um, yeah, we're going to move on to the next clip. If any of you are wondering where I purchased the majority of my Christmas ornaments, um, Walmart is one place and Hobby Lobby was the other one. Hobby Lobby used to have coupons, but they don't anymore. But if you have one in your area and you are not squeamish about going out into public, go in early one day, find out what time they open and the nearest one near you. Make sure you go ahead and protect yourself as best you can. And you go in as soon as they open. That gives you enough time to walk the entire store. Now, you're going to kill several birds with one stone when you do that. One, you're going to get out in front of the crowd. Two, you're going to get some exercise while you're in there. And three, you're going to be able to see what all they have and hopefully purchase something at a reasonable price. Now, just about every day you go in Hobby Lobby, something is on sale. You know, everybody is not price conscious, okay? Everything that we get, you know, we decide what, we, what we're going to pay for, you know? And so I know some things I'm just like, no, I'm not ready to pay that kind of price for this. But y'all, I'm telling you, it is some really, really nice things for those that like to sew and crochet. Um, even they have arts and crafts for children, adults. Um, if you like to paint, they have art supplies. If you like to make floral designs, they have an area for that. Um, home decor. It is so much in there to see. So if you haven't gotten your exercise this week, choose a day and go to Hobby Lobby. Walk the entire store. Get you some good exercise. And you can take your time and do it. Just go aisle by aisle. For you, if you like the floral, start with the floral. Because I believe in just about all Hobby Lobbies. When you go in, the floral, the floral department is at the beginning or the front of the store. Maybe off to the right, off to the left, not quite sure. But in my store, nearest me, it is off to the right. As soon as you get in there, it's so many beautiful flowers. It is ridiculous. I get decoration overload when I go in there. Like, oh my gosh, I have a billion projects just run through my brain when I go in there. 
stuff that I want to put my hands on and stuff that I want to do from one if it's not the floral it's the home decor if it's not home decor it is um, the painting department where I can go and play with paints. If it's not that, it's the jewelry, the beads, y'all. It's the beads for me. Okay, if it's not the beads, it is the fabric department because I love to use fabric in my home. If you cannot afford fabric, one thing I want you guys to do is pay attention. If you go out shopping or if you want that shops online, always check out curtains that are on sale. Okay curtains can be used in so many different ways get them dirt cheap you can cut them up and you can make you some pillow covers out of them or you can use them as shower curtains the decorative part of your shower curtain in your bathroom don't throw them away you don't need to cut them get the longest length possible you can get some for twenty dollars in walmart um or less, you know, depends on which, what quality you want to put in your bathroom or in your home. When it's something like that that you can use in different spaces, you don't want to get something that's real, real thin. I, I'm not a sheer curtain kind of person. I like a blackout curtain because I can use it on the windows. I can use it as my shower curtain and put me a nice, thick, heavy-duty liner behind it. Um, I can layer the shower curtains, meaning use different colors and textures. Um, but it's not actually a shower curtain. I'm using it as a shower curtain, but it's curtains, okay? If you have a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Family Dollar, um, whatever store is in your area and you they run a sale, get you some. It doesn't, you don't have to get a, you don't have to have a reason to use it at the moment. That gives you an opportunity to shop your home at some point, to spruce your house up. I like to do it whenever, I, whenever the wind blows, child. You, you never know with me. But I like to use curtains. I use them in my bathrooms. I use them up to the windows. Even around my desk. I use it as a skirt around my desk. And I just use hot glue. And I use it on the edge that will be, um, you know, away from people to see it. So even if I take those same curtains and wash them and hang them up in the bathroom, you won't be able to see the hot glue because it's going to be on the inside. Now, somebody would have to take their time and flip that bad boy backwards and look at it. Or most times I can get it off, you know, depending on what type of glue I actually use. Um, when I put it around my desk, I like to use a staple gun. Um, and then in certain areas, if I can't get it, I will use a little bit of hot glue. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. And as you can see in this clip, <laughs> we're struggling to get this bad boy right. It's a little off kilter, but that's all right. It's still cute, though. You know, I'm making it work the best way I can. And um, I hope y'all get some kind of ideas out of this. You know, you don't want to really start over purchasing things. Go check your closet. That's why I don't throw away a lot of curtains. Um, it just really depends on how long and if, you know, they've gotten a hole in it or something like that. But I just take them down, wash them, and store them as best I can. Because I know nine times out of ten, I'm going to get an idea to oh i can use that in another room i can use that in you know and not to be a pack rat but just to kind of keep yourself from having to spend a lot of money redecorating your home even if you start out with pillows like for me the inspiration for this entire project was the fact that i already had these colors and then if you look at my rug underneath it has the same colors in it so i'm just using it year round I was moving pillows from room, one room to the next. Curtains from room, one room. I can't talk today. Curtains from one room to the next. And just making it do. Even my throws. Wash them. Sanitize them real good. And just freshen up your home. You got a new space for the holiday. Or just for the season. Who knows. Okay. Just wanted to share that with you guys. And you can see me here. That is the curtain. That's the one panel that I took and put around the bottom. Didn't take the grommets off. It, did not cut it, anything. Just gathered it around the bottom. And there's the blue piece of sheer curtain that I had left over. I was going to take the Christmas boxes and put it around the bottom. But it had too much red and green in it. And I didn't want to throw the colors off. And um, as you can see, the little purple colors in that chair... That is the colors that's going to go in my bathroom. So now I'm going to just straighten up the pillows on the couch, which I already disinfected and steamed it the other day. And um, 
I'm just gonna straighten that up. My my grandbabies, they had them. They call it. Uh, they want to get in the pool, so they take all the pillows off the top, and put them in the floor, and they just jump off the couch. It's enough pillows, child. When I tell you the whole floor be full, yes. And so they call themselves putting them back again, and we gonna put it back. They put them back, but they were in the wrong order. So we're going to start with that and get it all straight. And we're almost to the end of the video. And I'm surprised that I talked this long. Y'all know I'm long-winded. Ooh, child. It's, I still might end up putting some music over it. But uh, thank y'all for hanging in here with me this far. And um, those pillows came from Home Goods. I have a Home Goods walkthrough video coming up soon. And... Uh, <laughs> 